I'm a data scientist at TIPCO. In this demonstration, we will work with two data sets, counts of homeless and counts of beds and shelters in the United States. Both data sets are available in Excel format from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development website. Preparing data for analysis can be tricky. This is why we built this demonstration to show you how to properly prepare data for analysis in Spotfire. We will show you how to import data into Spotfire from an Excel file with multiple sheets, how to transform data using the unpivot transformation, how to then cleanse data on the fly, and how to blend data across multiple datasets. Here we are showing the format of one of the files we will be working with, the point-in-time counts of homeless across the United States. Like a lot of data that comes from spreadsheets, it is a bit complicated and needs to be organized for analysis. For example, the data is spread across seven sheets, each for one year between 2007 and 2013. The names of columns between sheets differ. We see the year included in some column names. Additionally, the number of columns between sheets differs. Note columns go up to V in one of the sheets and only up to T in the other. Additionally, the structure of the data is pivoted. Some columns are sums of values in other columns. Because Spotfire is a highly extensible platform, we were able to quickly build an extension that can help import Excel files with multiple sheets all in one step. Let's use the tool to import the PIT file. The tool recognized the seven sheets in the data. It offers an option for adding a new column with worksheet names. It also lets the user customize the rules for matching column names between sheets. Here we match columns with the same beginning with at least three characters, same end with at least 10 characters, and less than 10 character changes required to make the two names identical. You can also specify an expression to remove parts of column names. Here we want to get rid of the year from the column names. Let's import the data into Spotfire. We can see a year column was added and data from all seven years are stacked on top of each other. As mentioned earlier, the data is in a pivoted format. Some columns are sums of others. Let's add an unpivot transformation to the data. What we want to achieve through this transformation is to create a single category column that would capture some of the column names from the unpivoted table. We want to pass through the COC number, COC name, and year columns. The columns we will transform are total individuals sheltered, total individuals unsheltered, total persons and families sheltered, and total persons and families unsheltered. The names of columns we chose to transform will be included in the new category column. We will name the value column homeless. The bottom of the dialog shows a preview of the transformed data. A lot of information is contained in the new category column. Let's break it down into two categories, family situation and shelter access. The expression window lets us define the logic for calculating the new column. We also mentioned there is no state column in the original dataset. The information is hidden within the COC column. Let's extract the first two characters from the COC column entries to get state codes. This is what the resulting table looks like much cleaner format, ready for analysis. To quickly sum up what we have covered so far, we showed you how to get from a multi-sheet Excel file in a pivoted format to a single pivoted table. We now have a dataset ready for analysis. 
Let's see how you can do data cleansing once the data is loaded into Spotfire. The ability to see the data and clean it at the same time makes this step quick and easy. Let's add a bar chart. Let's look at homeless by COC number. Let's filter to Washington. We see that a few COCs seem to be misspelled. These three here should be treated as one. This is easy to fix with our group function. I can just select the records I want, right click and group them together. Just like this, in a click, the data is grouped into a single COC and a new column is formed. Let's now look at data blending. I've got a different set of data, HIC data, that contains counts of beds and shelters as a single sheet Excel file on my desktop. I can simply drag and drop to import. Spotfire recognizes this is an Excel file. Let's import. We now have the second dataset in Spotfire. Let's create a bar chart and look at the number of beds and shelters per state. I will sort by value and choose to show side by side. Let's now add a column from the other table to the y-axis. We are now looking at data from two separate data sets in one graph. This is fast and easy way to blend data in Spotfire. In this demonstration, we have shown you how Spotfire can import data from an Excel file with multiple sheets, how the data can be reshaped through the unpivot transformation, and how calculated columns can be added. We then saw how data can be cleansed on the fly through the grouping transformation, and how you can blend data across multiple datasets in one visualization. Thank you for watching.